Academy Award for Best Actor Abstract The Academy Award for Best Actor is an award presented annually by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, AMPAS. It is given in honor of an actor who has delivered an outstanding performance in a leading role while working within the film industry. The award is traditionally presented by the previous year's Best Actress winner. The first Academy Awards were held in 1929 with Emil Jannings receiving the award for his roles in The Last Command, 1928, and The Way of All Flesh, 1927. Currently, nominees are determined by single transferable vote within the actor's branch of AMPAs, winners are selected by a plurality vote from the entire eligible voting members of the Academy. In the first three years of the awards, actors were nominated as the best in their categories. At that time, all of their work during the qualifying period was listed after the award. However, during the third ceremony held in 1930, only one of those films was cited in each winner's final award, even though each of the acting winners had two films following their names on the ballots. The following year, this system was replaced by the current system in which an actor is nominated for a specific performance in a single film. Starting with the ninth ceremony held in 1937, the category was officially limited to five nominations per year. Since its inception, the award has been given to 83 actors. Daniel Day-Lewis has received the most awards in this category, with three wins. Spencer Tracy and Laurence Olivier were nominated on nine occasions, more than any other actor. Peter O'Toole is the most nominated actor in this category without a single win. James Dean remains the only actor to have been posthumously nominated in this category on more than one occasion. Peter Finch is the only actor to have received the award posthumously, for Network, 1976. Italian actor Roberto Benigni was the first non-English performance winner for Life is Beautiful, 1997. At age 29, Adrian Brody became the youngest actor to win this award for The Pianist, 2002, while Anthony Hopkins, at age 83, became the oldest winner for The Father, 2020. As of the 93rd Academy Awards, Hopkins is the most recent winner in this category for his portrayal of Anthony and the Father. This project compresses information gathered from Wikipedia in video format. Why should I watch it? Studies prove that reading while listening improves comprehension, increases speed as well as expands vocabulary and enhances fluency. Provide your feedback on the comments section. Support the channel by subscribing and liking the video. Thanks.